Hello there and welcome to another video. On this tutorial we're going to see how to create this spiral dotted effect in Adobe Illustrator. We are starting by creating a new document 2000 by 2000 pixels. First thing we need to do is to add a background so we take in the rectangle tool and we create a square. We're going to remove the outline and we're going to add a fill. In this case we're going to use a gradient so I'm going to select the gradient here and I select the radial gradient. Now I would like to edit the colors so I'm going to double click on this dot here. I'm going to my swatches and I have saved two swatches so I'm going to select the light one for the middle and the dark one for the outer color. Now I will go and lock the square object to make sure I will not edit the background. Now I'm going to create a circle so I'm going to select the ellipse tool and I click and drag to create a big circle. I will also hold the shift key in order to be a perfect circle. Now I would like to remove the fill and have only a white stroke. I will make the stroke around 60 and now I will open the stroke panel to edit some settings. First I need to select the smoother edges on the cap and I will click the dust line. I will have the gap around the same size as the dots and I'm going to change the stroke profile to this one. Now I need to click on the effect button at the top menu and select distort and transform and go to the transform option. We are going to start by changing the copies to somewhere like 50 and if you have selected the tick box here on the preview you can see the results by the time you change them. At the moment we can't see any change unless we change the other settings as well. So I'm going to scale at the top here and I will reduce both to something like 90. probably 91. Now in order to have this spiral effect I will need to change the angle so I will change to something like 60. And finally if I select any of these options here I will have a different result. For example with the reflect X I will have this effect. With the reflect Y I will have the same effect but from the bottom side. And with random we have another smoother effect. We can also select combinations, so we would have for example the X and Y and create that, or X and random maybe, but for now I'm going to leave them without any selected. Another thing we can do is to change the center of the circle, so if we select here we can move the circle in another position. This way we change the lines as well. but I'm going to leave them to the default 0 pixels. Now we can make the circle bigger if we'd like to make the effect go towards to the edge of the square and we can export only the square. If for any case we're not satisfied with the effect we can go to transform here on the appearance and edit the settings again. Wow. 
So that was it for today, I hope you liked this tutorial and make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you on the next one.